Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, this video I'm gonna show you how to find out what your overclocks version on your KS0 Pros and also KS0s, so you can look it up. I have six of KS0s uh, right here, Machina, and I own seven of KS0 Pros, right? So if I'm gonna switch around, I can't tell the difference be besides the cache, uh, giga hashes, I'm doing the hash rate, but I don't know if that's machine performing correctly according to my overclocks or should I switch to different overclocks or maybe it's the um, there's a problem with machines so I don't know if this is running 300 version or or 280 or 270 so in order to look it up I really created a simple shade I mean I wish uh, if T Swift, if you're watching this, maybe there could be a column added here with the overclocks. It's really easy to do just to show overclock for your machine there. But uh, I did this spreadsheet. You guys could see it. It's basically based on your clocks. You know what overclocks you're running. So I created here from 550 is your stock is 200 giga hash version that comes from the factory. And then 725 is your uh, overclocks for 260. I don't have any machine for that. Then you have uh, 750 version, which is 270. I have one machine at 114. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to type IP number 114. I'm going to stop and click. Refresh. It's going to pull up that machine 750 uh, clocks. It starts with 750. Obviously, there's a bunch of zeros. So I'm not going to overcomplicate that thing so really simple to look it up and I know my IP address is uh, 114 so it's easy to find that what my machine running on what overclock so you can pause the video copy for yourself or make the list or make it vertical whatever you want to do but that's the way it's easy and simple to find out so far I have only one machine running 340 that's 122 and I'm going to show you that. It's still at the highest overclock so far, uh, 925. And, um, and this one, the only one, uh, MOSFET, MOSFETs is being uh, held up the temperature below 60. So what I noticed is it's a separate video. Please check it out. I'm going to make it uh, probably today or tomorrow. But I did record a bunch of temperature settings and the air flow through the KS0 Pro, so as soon as you have less airflow, uh, one of the MOSFET chips starting to overheat, and once it passes 70 degrees or 72 degrees Celsius, it just keep on going up. There is no stop. Whatever you do with the blowing up air, you can't stop from heating, and it's eventually going to reach 95 or 100 degrees and turn off the uh, hashes. So it's going to stop hashing. The machine will still be on the network looking like there but it's gonna suffer and some of the chips probably gonna start going gray uh, in a while it's not right away so it's really hard to figure out with just looking out at your um, ice river monitor so you can't catch that temperature on the mosfets unfortunately but you can figure it out what um, but this video basically want to show you how easily you can look it up your uh, overclocks. So if you're not sure which one you're running or which one you want to try or if you want to lower it up let's say if I see like my um, let's say my 119 not performing on 320 I will just go and check what I'm doing on 119 and I can switch to 300 if it's overheating or anything uh, because if it's not performing the gig hashes that means it's overheating so right now my 320 actually doing pretty good it's running at 331, 342, five minutes. It's almost at 340, although it's a 320 version overclocks. But also, it's if as soon as I try to go to 340, it will overheat my one of my MOSFETs. So I'm waiting for fruition design. I ordered a couple kits. I'm waiting for them to come because I can put two fans on that uh, kit and try to bring more air through the system and see if that's going to solve the problem. I know somehow I managed just one only miner going 340. Every other one I was going with my thermal imaging device and it does not perform because of that MOSFET overheat. So that video just for that stuff. Look it up your uh, overclocks easily and then that's your clocks for your I don't have 120, 140, 150. 
and 163 versions because I haven't I got stuck uh, clocks but then it's all this is overclocked from my machines um, I don't know what stacks overclock from the uh, KS3 uh, the overclocks obviously is the uh, higher number we can actually look it up it's my 117 version and I need to switch to KS3 so that's that's how you can look it up but uh, I mean KS3 is only two version overclock or not overclock so really nothing to uh, worry about it's 825 right so we can type that in and cl um, I mean I don't know what's the uh, stock version there maybe some of your guys have it there but uh, same for KS3 um, it's not overclocking so we don't really need this information here I think most useful is the K0 Pro even K0 once you have it done you don't really uh, touch those machines you can just try to go as high as you can on their overclocks and just stay there um, with the K0 Pro there is a lot more to do with the airflow and all this uh, controlling the temperature so I think that's going to be useful for somebody just to look it up their uh, clocks easily because Again, if you go on the web GUI, you can't even tell. All right, so that's that's it for this video. Hope it helps someone, and uh, see you on the next one. And the next one will be for about how is uh, MOSFET getting overheated. So go check it out once I have it, and have a good day.